Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and in this series we are talking about the attributes for our past event slider. Previously we talked about the feature tag and the cancel tag or attributes and today is going to be another one called event online. So this is another attribute which expects or accepts boolean values true or false and we're going to give you like the overview and a demonstration about like how the tag works and what you can expect out of it. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it and we're going to copy this event online tag. And before that, let me give you like a little bit of explanation of what it does. So event online is basically an attribute where you can filter out your events in a past event slider, uh, whether to show events if they are online or not. Okay, what that means uh, in our event manager, we have hybrid event system, right? Uh, where you can choose whether an event is a physical event like happening in a venue or whether it's an online event like a virtual event, right? So we give you the ability to switch between uh, like whether you want to show all your past events or whether they were online or offline in a slider itself. So this helps you to get like a little bit of perspective when you are creating a page, let's say where you want to show your past events, which were uh, only the online event or only the physical events. All right. So I'll give you a demonstration a little bit and you can figure it out like very easily out of it. Okay. So this is the event slider page I have uh, created just using the bare minimum uh, event slider and over here you'll find like all the past events okay uh like expired events some of them are online like this germany startup jobs higher tech talent tech job fair they're online event right location it says online and over here you'll find some events uh expired events which are not particularly online like they are actually offline event like they have the actual locations into them so what i'm gonna do uh, I'm going to reload this page first. So since we did not include the online tag over here, it's going to show all the events regardless whether they are online or not. All right. So we can like scroll through and you'll find like every events will be shown over here based on the limit by default is five is being listed over here, whether they are online or not, doesn't matter. It doesn't take effect. So the first instinct will be to add the online tag over here and we're going to set it to true and we're gonna update this page then we can reload and what it will do it will show only the online events over here so if i take a look at our dashboard we can find like we have one two three and expired events another one is over here four five okay so we have uh, this much events and we can see like how they're appearing over here so this will only show the online events which doesn't have a physical address or physical venue assigned to them and if you are asking me like how to like set an event to online or offline we have a dedicated video into that you can check that out but it's pretty simple uh it's simple toggle button over here online event yes or no so you can set whether it's an online event or no and you can set your location and everything based on your criteria okay so i'm gonna close this tab and yeah, I have showed you the version where it says online. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to false. Okay. And this should theoretically show all the offline events or events which are not uh, being held online or have a physical venue attached to them over here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, as you can see, all the offline events being shown over here. So that's how simple it is. Okay. To control whether you want to show online or offline events on your past event slider. So this being a quick video about the attribute tag and in our next upcoming video, we're going to talk about the limit order by and rest of the other attributes. Make sure to follow them if you are feeling curious. And in this series, we will find other uh, attributes as well, such as the cancel featured. Uh, we have uh, that video is made already. Uh, let me know in the comment if you have any kind of questions, suggestions or queries. I'll be sure to help you out in there. And if you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful, maybe leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And yes, until next time, I'm Sharath saying goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.